Good morning, our brothers and sisters. How are we today? Are we enjoying the weather? All glory and all glory to our God. Lord Jesus, Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit. My Lord, my God, I thank you, Jesus. I worship you, Lord. I bless you, Jesus, for all that you have done for us today, O oh Lord, and what you're ready to do. We just thank you, Father, for, for your grace. We bless you, Holy Lord. For you are the God of second chance. Father, we thank you, we bless you. My Lord, my God, thank you for waking me up this morning. You woke us, I wake up us for us to be on your table this morning to eat with you. Father, Lord Jesus, speak to us this morning, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, I bind every plan of the enemy in our life today in the might of Jesus. Wherever the enemy are hiding, Lord, let them be exposed and be disgraced. In the mighty name of Jesus, I put an end to every oppression of the wicked in our life today. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, have your way. Lord Jesus, take control. And I break every yoke of delay in our life, that yoke of stagnation. I bind you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, possess every soul in our life today. Yeah. Possess every soul that are under the sign of, of our voice right now in the name of Jesus. Touch their life, wake them up to the Lord in the name of Jesus from their slumber in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus because you have done it. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us sing hymn 25. All to Jesus, I surrender. One to go. All to Jesus, I surrender. To him I freely give. I will ever love and trust him in his presence daily. Live. I surrender, I surrender all. I surrender, I surrender all, all to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all, all to Jesus, I surrender on the earth is feet I bow. What the precious of forsaken, take me, Jesus, take me now. I surrender, I surrender all. I surrender, I surrender all, all to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all, all to Jesus, I surrender Make me Savior, holy die. Let me feed the 
Holy Spirit, truly no doubt thou art mine. I surrender, I surrender all. I surrender, I surrender all. Oh, to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. Oh, to Jesus, I surrender, Lord, I see, Lord, I give myself to thee. Fill me with the Lord and power, let the blessings fall on me. I surrender, I surrender all. I surrender, I surrender all. Oh, to Jesus. Oh, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. Oh, to Jesus, I surrender. Now I see the sacred flame. Oh, the joy of full salvation, glory, glory to his name. I surrender, I surrender all. I surrender, I surrender all. Oh, to thee, my Blessed Savior, I surrender all. Hallelujah. Jesus, we surrender everything to you this morning. Possess all, O oh Lord. Take control of us today, O oh Lord. Jesus, have your way and let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us sing 5 0. Be still. Want to go. Be still for the presence of thy Lord. The Holy One is here. Come now before Him now with reverence and fear. No sins is found. We stand in holy ground. Be still for the presence of thy Lord. The holy one is here. Be still for the glory of thy Lord. He shining all around. He burns with holy fire, with splendor he is crowned. How awesome is his sight, our dear King of life. Be still for the glory of thy Lord, be shining all around. Be still for the power of the Lord, Lord is moving in this place. He comes to give us a to minister his 
Christ. No one to hide for him. If he received from him, be still for the power of the Lord is moving in this place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, oh, let us sing. Uh, 11. Let us sing 11.68. Think everyone needs compassion. Want to go. Everyone needs compassion. Love that never failing. Let mercies follow me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of a savior, the hope of nation. Savior, he can move the mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Auto of salvation. Heroes that conquer the grave. Jesus conquer the grave. So take me high for me, all my fears and failure. See my life again. I give my life to follow everything I believe. Now I surrender. Savior, he can move the mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Shine your light, let the whole world see. We are singing for the glory of this amazing King. Jesus, shine your light, let the whole world see. We are singing for the glory of the risen King. Jesus, Savior. He can move the mountain. My God is mighty to save. Jesus mighty to save forever. Auto of salvation. Heroes and conquer the grave. Jesus conquer the grave. Your lives. Let the whole world see, we are singing for the glory of the risen King. Jesus, shine your light and the whole world see, we are singing for the glory of the risen King. Amen. Please let us also sing 1151. Amazing grace. Amazing grace. How sweet thy sound. One to go. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. The saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I was blind, but now I see. His grace that taught 
my heart to fear and grace my fears relieve. How precious did the grace appear the hour of first believe. My chains are gone. I'll be set free, my God, my Savior, I ransom me. And like a flood, His blessings raise. Amazing grace, unending love, amazing grace. The Lord has promised good to me. This world my hope secure. He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures. My chains are gone. I've been set free, my God, my Savior, I ransom me. I like a flood, His mercy's raised, unending love, amazing grace. My chains are gone. I've been set free, my God, my Savior, I ransom me. And like a flood, His mercy is raised, unending love, amazing grace. The end shall soon dissolve like sin. Don't forget to shine, but God who called me here below, he be forever mine. My chains are gone, I'll be set free, my God, my Savior. I ransom me, I like a flood, his message raised, unending love, amazing grace. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the amazing grace. We thank you because we were lost before you later found us. We are blind, Lord, Father, Lord Jesus, you open our eyes. We are sick, Father, you make us to be whole, oh Lord, you heal us. We bless your holy Lord, we are lack of something, of many things, but you make provision for us, Lord. Father, we thank you, we bless your holy Lord, we thank you, Jesus. We bless you this morning for your hand upon our life, for your wonderful work, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, for the life of every soul that you have awake this morning, O oh Lord. We bless the only Lord, even for those family that are mourning for their lost one right now. Jesus, we bless you. We worship you, Father. For you are the God that never fails, O oh Lord. When you say yes, it's always yes. When you say no, it's always no. Father, we thank you, Jesus. My Lord, my God, Holy Spirit, be with us this morning, O oh Lord. As we are going to your word, Father, come and speak to us, Lord. Give us the understanding of this word, in the mighty name of Jesus, touch us mightily and let your name alone be glorified. We bless you, Jesus, because you have done it. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Amen. And brothers and sisters, good morning once again. Uh, we are going to touch some part of our life this morning. We're going to touch our life. We are going to the book of uh, um, 1 Corinthians chapter 7. And we are going to read from verse 1 to 9. That is where we are going to treat this morning. And the, and the topic is principle for marriage life. Hallelujah. 
Please read for us. Principle for married life. Chapter seven. Yes. Now concerning the things of which you wrote to me. Yes. It is good for a man not to touch a woman. Yes. Nevertheless, because of sexual immorality, yes. let each man have his own wife. Yes. And then let each woman have her own husband. Yes. Let the husband render to his wife the affection to her. Yes. And then likewise also the wife to her husband. Yes. The wife does not have authority over her own body, yes. but the husband does. Yes. Yeah. And then likewise, the husband does not have authority over her own body, <laughs> but the wife does. Yes. Do not deprive one another, yes. except with consent, mm. for a time that you may give yourself to fasting and prayer. Yes and come together again. So that Satan does not tempt you yes. because of your lack of self-control. Yes. But I say this as concession, yes. not as commandment. Yes. For I wish that all men were even as I myself. Yes. But each one has his own gift from God. Yes. One in his manner, and another in a that. Mm. But I said that the emerald and the, to the window, yes. it is good for them if they remain even as I am. Yes. But if they cannot exercise self-control, yes. let them marry. Yes. For it is better to marry than to burn with passion. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Apostle Paul is trying to tell us something here concerning the marriage life. Our God is going to lead us all through in Jesus' name for the understanding. He said, now concerning the things about which you wrote, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Hallelujah. The church in uh, Corinth, they wrote to him concerning this very issue. So they asked question about it. He's now writing back to them concerning the matter. He said, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Not for a married person not to touch a wife, that is not what he's saying or for a wife not to touch the husband if you are married. That is not what he's saying. He's talking about those that are not married, that you are not supposed to touch a man, or you are not supposed to touch a woman. Hallelujah. He said, but because of immoralities, let each man have his own wife, and let each woman have her own husband. Many things is going on in the world right now that we say, oh, there are some people, maybe they might have uh, cheated on them before, they might have disappointed them before, before marriage, or uh, maybe somewhere along the line, they just decide and say, okay, they want to be who they want to be. Hallelujah. Pastor Paul is making us to understand that he said it, because of immoralities, because of fornication, he said it is good for you to, for a man to marry. And it, does, it is also good for a, a woman to marry her own husband. Hallelujah. He said, let the husband fulfill his duty to his wife. And likewise also, the wife to, to her husband. Hallelujah. I will read that because the, uh, the New King James um, explain it in a better way. Let me read it in King James. Uh, that very verse, uh, verse three. 
He said, let the husband render unto the wife due, due a benevolence, and likewise also the wife unto the husband. Hallelujah. Then verse 4, he said, the wife does not have authority over her own body, but the husband does. And likewise also, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. Hallelujah. I'm also going to read that in King James Version. He said the wife had not power over her own body, but the husband, but the husband. And likewise also, the husband had not power of his own body, but her wife. I mean, sorry, but the wife. So what is he trying to say like this? This is maturity. I mean, I hope everybody that is listening to me, they are everybody's more than, I mean, we are all matured. Majority of us, we are more than 18. So what he's trying to tell you here is that when it is time, maybe the man want to have anything to do with the woman, the woman shouldn't deprive the husband for say, oh, I'm not going to. Or rather the husband, when the wife say, oh, this is what I want to do. The wife shouldn't be, so the husband shouldn't also deprive the wife from doing anything that he want to do. Not killing, I'm talking about my brothers and my sisters. So something relating to affection, something Related, I mean, emotional. Uh, let me just say, really, I mean, having affection. Hallelujah. So that is what Apostle Paul is trying to tell us here. He says, Stop depriving one another except by agreement for a time that you may devote yourself to pray. That is verse 5 now. And come together again, lest Satan attempt you because of your lack of self control. Hallelujah. I'm still going to, also going to, I mean, to read that in King James Version. He said, Defraud ye not one another. Defraud ye not one another the other except except it be the is be with consent for a time that ye may give yourself to fasting and prayer and come together again that satan attempt you not for your inconsistency that's what uh king just how King James right, wrote it. So, except with prayer and fasting. And before you do that prayer and fasting, you may not tell any other person that you want to do prayer and fasting. As a man or as a woman, you can excuse, you can tell your husband and say, oh, my honey, my sweetheart, or the common name that you, usually used to uh, call your husband, you can tell your husband and say, oh, I want to fast for one day. I want to fast for two days. I want to fast for three days. Please, can you just uh, excuse me? In that case, if there is a spare room, you can even go. Hallelujah. You can stay in the living room if that place is conducive for you. If the husband permits you, you can do that. The husband can also ask for that kind of uh, uh, permission from you as a wife. That, oh, I want to fast for how many days? He said, but, uh, he said, but after everything, you come together again so that the enemy, Satan, will, will not come into your midst and I mean, other things start happening. 
Praise God. And if, like some people, when you leave that loopholes, that is when you will see this spiritual wife and spiritual husband, for people that have it, majority of people, that demon is fighting them. He's even fighting them in their marriage. He will come and make, have a, the man will come and have a sex with the woman. The woman, the woman one will come and have sex with the man. You will now see that at the end of everything, in the physical realm, trouble is in that very marriage. So this is what Apostle Paul is advising us. He says, stop de depriving one another, except by agreement for a time that you may devote yourself to prayer. Hallelujah. So verse six, he said, but this, Listen to this. He said, but this I say by way of concession, not of command. That is this number six that is going to, this very, the next step is going now. He said, it's not a command, but he's just saying it. Uh, he said, yet I wish that all men were even as I myself am. However, such man has his own gift from God. One in the, sorry, one in this manner and another in that manner. Hallelujah. He's trying to tell us that you have your mind to, I mean, you have a gift. God gives you the ability to choose whatever thing you want to do, what you like. That is what he's trying to say. Apostle Paul did not, he did not uh, marry. Hallelujah. He was not uh, into this uh, a husband and wife thing. He just separated himself. That's why he's even saying, if every man can be like him, he said, but the gift is there. You have the power to choose whatever thing that you want to do. Either you want to marry or you don't want to marry. Okay, let's see verse 8. He said, but I say to the unmarried and to uh, widows that it is good for them if they remain even as I. He's telling them concerning the unmarried, I mean, telling the unmarried people, either man or woman, even the widow. He said, it is good if you want to remain like that, like himself. But it's not telling you, it's not a command that you must do it. Hallelujah. That is why he said in that basis, he said, but this I say, this I say by way of concession, not of command. That if you want to remain, you remain like this. Instead of you to be fornicating, instead of a, a, a man or like our children, Instead of them to be fornicating, let us encourage them to marry. Because we don't know when our Jesus will come. Or rather, if you want to extend it more further, there are some women or there are some men, they are not satisfied with only their husband. Hallelujah. They, some people don't have that spirit. They go out, they sneak, they do some such, I mean, many things outside and they still come back and I mean they are married he said those are all he said because of Im, uh, immoralities that is verse 2 hallelujah so we have to we have to be strong in it verse 9 he said if but if they do not have self control let them marry for it is better to marry than to born. Hallelujah. I will read that verse 9 in King James Version. He said, but if they cannot contain, if they cannot contain, let them marry. For it is better to marry than to born. That is a B-U-R-N. So 
these are some of the things that we need to learn and we need to we need to use to advise ourselves we need to advise our friends we need to advise our 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 siblings those that are under our control when we see some kind of movement that is going on we just need to let them know let them they may be telling you oh it is not like that it is like this it is not like that let them read this very place we are christian we are following the doctrine of our lord jesus christ we are following what he said we should do his commandment how god spoke to the apostles we are also following it it's part of our christian uh, living our christian life so my brothers and my sisters let us now open our mouth and start praying for those that have not been that haven't known about this before now that you know it you have to start putting it in practice and god will help us in jesus name let us continue to pray to thank God this morning. Father Lord Jesus, I open my mouth wide this morning to thank you for everything that you have done, O oh Lord. Throughout the night, Father Lord, you save, you save and guide us, O oh Lord, you protect us. Father Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. You provide oxygen that money cannot buy for us, Lord. Father, we bless you, Lord. We worship you, Father. We thank you, Jesus, for you are the Lord that created every human being, O oh Lord. You are the God that created me, Father. My Lord, my God, I bless you. I worship you, Father, for all your grace, for everything that you have done, Lord. For giving me another chance, for giving me a second chance, Lord. Father, I bless you. I worship you, Father. I thank you, Jesus, for you are the God that never changed. Have your way, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let us now continue to ask for our forgiveness once again at every sin, especially the sin of malice, sin of grudges, sin of disobedience, sin of rebellion, sin of wickedness. Continue to ask for that sin right now that God should forgive you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, forgive me, O Lord, every known and unknown sin, secretly or openly. Father, Lord, have mercy. Every sin that I've seen, O Lord, my Lord, my God, have mercy. And I pray for every soul right now. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, have mercy and compassion over us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy upon every soul right now, wherever we might have air against you, Lord, especially the sin of rebellion. My Lord, my God, have mercy. Sin of disobedience, Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy upon us today, O Lord. Forgive us, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every known and unknown sin, that sin that the enemy has been using to torment us in our, from our father family, from that generation, from that ancestral line. Father Lord Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy upon us today, O Lord. Have mercy in Jesus. Every sin that is in this land, O Lord, that I'm stepping on, Father Lord God, I want to wage war against me. My Lord, my God, have mercy today in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy, Father. Have mercy, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are still going to pray that prayer. I say, Lord, I need your strength. My brothers and my sisters, we don't know what is happening. We don't know when our Jesus will come. We have to be strong, and we have to have that faith in our God. Like a clip that I saw yesterday, I saw three, three, three men, three pastors from my country. They die within 24 hours, and they are all general of us there. Three I mean, general overseers, they die within 24 hours apart. Maybe some hours, this one died at one o'clock, the other one died two o'clock, the other one died five o'clock. Within 24 hours, three general overseers die in Nigeria. My brother, my sister, we don't know what is going to, what is happening right now. Our own is, start, is to start pleading to God, wherever we have missed it, whatever we have done, anything that will make us not to attain or to be in that position God wants us to be because he has translated us from darkness into his dear light and we are still struggling. We are saying we are not going to be there. Father, let us pray, my brother and sister. I say, Father, have mercy upon my household in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us now continue to pray. My Lord, my God, 
have mercy today, O Lord. Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy, Father. Have mercy, Jesus. Have mercy, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy upon our household. Have mercy upon our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to pray for your children, my brother, my sister. We don't know what, what they are doing when we are not there. We don't know what they are doing in their rooms, but only God knows. Father, have mercy. Have mercy upon them, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Omnipresent, omnipotent God. Have mercy, Father. Have mercy, Jesus. Have mercy, Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Father. We worship you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, because of what you have done for us. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray right now concerning this very um, concerning this very uh, topic that we have read. We are going to pray and say, Lord, you can tell your wife, you can tell your husband, you can ask for mercy that your husband or your wife should forgive you. Continue to pray right now. My Lord, my God, Holy Spirit, I ask for your mercy, O oh Lord. I ask for mercy from my wife, O oh Lord. For her to forgive me. If I have not been, if I have not been right, if I have not been doing something right with her, we you may not know, and she may not know too that I mean that such a thing is in your mind or is happening. Continue to pray and ask for that forgiveness right now. These are the part of life that God, when you when the mind is free, every blessing will be going off freely the way we expect it to be. My Lord, my God, have mercy. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. If I have done bad things to my wife, Lord, Jesus, have mercy. And touch her heart, touch her whole life too. Touch her heart to also forgive me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, touch my heart to also forgive her in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, glorify yourself, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. He said, let's I mean, he said, let Satan attempt you because of your lack of self-control. Let us now pray right now. That's self-control. We need it in all areas. It's not only by having something to do your, with your wife or with your husband. That self-control, anger can come in. You want to do what you want to do, what you're supposed to do, but you cannot do it. That can lead to anger. It can lead to anything at all. It can lead to malice. It can lead to separation. It can lead to big things. Even extend to the children. Let us now pray and say, Lord, every, every enemy, any instrument of Satan, any agent of Satan that is focusing or that have been assigned to monitor my marriage or to monitor my home. Father Lord Jesus, I block them with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, continue to pray right now. My Lord, my God, every satanic agent that I'll be assigned to monitor our marriage, oh Lord, I pray for that family right now. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every satanic agent that I'll be assigned to monitor mar that marriage in order to come into it and do their havoc, Father Lord, I break it right now. I use the blood of Jesus to bind them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord God, Holy Spirit, let their oppression be blocked, oh Lord, in that very family, in our family, in our children's lives, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, take absolute control right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, O Lord, and let your name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to break and to destroy the work of spiritual husband and spiritual wife in your life or in the life of the children. Let us now continue to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I break every yoke or spiritual wife or spiritual husband in our life today, O oh Lord. Let them be destroyed right now. Every oppression of incubus and succubus in the mighty name of Jesus. If you think what I'm saying is not right, my brother, my sister, search Google, search for incubus or succubus. You will see that demon. They even describe it there. It's in the dictionary. You, you can even see it there that these are the, their oppression. They even narrate it to you very clearly. Continue to pray for it right now and break them out from your life and your children's life in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of incubus and succubus that are operating in our life, O oh Lord, or in the life of our loved one, my Lord, my God, Father, Lord Jesus, we break their yoke right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We stop their oppression in our life right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We stop their oppression right now 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, we break every yoke in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, take control in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, we bless your holy Lord. We worship you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We're also going to pray that in this, in this regard, the enemy, what lead of people, okay, what just came to me now, what lead of people to say they want to be gay or they want to be lesbian or they want to be transgender? Transgender. It's just because of the demon that is manipulating people. When somebody is of age, is not having, uh, nobody even talk to her or talk to him, or is not having uh, a mind to say, okay, I want to marry. This can lead them to say, oh, maybe they have even jitted them or they have, uh, they have uh, deceived them before or uh, abandoned them somehow. So maybe they were about to marry. Later, he now say, oh, I'm not going to do the marry. Praise God. He will now say, okay, I better do the right thing or I better go on my own way or do other things in order for me to be free from that kind of something. We are going to pray right now. That demon that is, I mean, making people to say they want to be gay or they want to be lesbian or they want to be transgender. Let us now continue to pray that spirit out from there right now in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I cast out, O oh Lord, every spirit of lesbianism, every spirit of gay, O oh Lord, every spirit of transgender, out from the life of people, out from this land, in the mighty name of Jesus. Even in the life of our children, O oh Lord, we bind our spirit right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Whosoever that the enemy is, is, is tormenting with that very spirit, we cast it out from there right now in the mighty name of Jesus. That spirit of gay, that spirit of lesbian, that spirit of transgender, we cast it out from there today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, sanctify our children, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless your holy name, Lord. We worship you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let us now pray for this day and say, Lord Jesus, today is the eighth day of the month of June. My Lord, my God, Holy Spirit, let your name be glorified in my life today. Everything that I want to do, I hand it over to you. Father, be the chairman. Let us now continue to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, be the chairman of today's gathering, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, be the chairman of everything that we are going to do in our home, in outside, in our place of work, wherever we are going, whatever we are doing, anything that our children want to do. Father, Lord God, we surrender them to you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Be the chairman of every affair today, O oh Lord. Even be the chairman of the affair of this country in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, O oh Lord, give them the wisdom to minister to other people, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Give them the, mini, the, the, the wisdom, O oh Lord, to rule in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, in that parliament, in the mighty name of Jesus, in that senate house, Father Lord Jesus, in the house of common, wherever they may be, in any part of the world, continue to pray for those, for that country right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, the country you came from. Pray for the government to be better, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for the government of Nigeria to be better, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, give them the wisdom. They put your fear in the life of all our leaders in the whole world, O oh Lord. Make them to fear you, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, may them to fear you, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, take control. Lord Jesus, have your way, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to soak yourself in the blood of Jesus right now. My Lord, my God, we soak ourselves in your blood today, in the mighty name of Jesus. Take absolute control right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, take control. Jesus, take control, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every accident, we bind it this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus. For those that are sick, oh Lord, Father, May them to be well this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. May them to be whole, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. For those that are in need of anything, O oh Lord, Father, you are the God that provides. Provide for each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, provide for us, O oh Lord. Whatever we need in this house, Father, Lord God, supply everything, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In that new building that we are going, O oh Lord, Jesus, Holy Spirit, water the ground for us, O oh Lord, and let your children that want to serve in that place, let them start locating us, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Connect us with our helper, O oh Lord, 
in the mighty name of Jesus, the helper of our destiny. Father, connect us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Once again, I thank you for all the testimony that is coming in, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Father. We worship you, Lord. And we soak ourselves once again in your blood. I soak this temple in your blood right now. We soak our home in your blood. We thank you, Jesus. We bless you, honor, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, 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 in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God will bless us in Jesus' name. Let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God, goodness, and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord God forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord will be with you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, you shall win. No matter what the enemy is saying, no matter the evil voice, no matter the threat, God is in that very problem. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Amen.